generations. This peaceful island has been home to our family. But beyond our reef, a great danger is coming. Legend tells of a hero who will journey to find the demigod Maui. And together, they will save us all. Good day to all of you. We have given a chance to review the human nature of the characters of the chosen movie and present the chosen movie entitled Moana. First of all, I would like to introduce the group members from ICT-12C Animation. Pakaro Gwenhart, Karaan Raymark, De Umampo Maria Cecilia, Marana Nicole, and Vilja Pando Nicole. We hope that this presentation will be a clearly success and that we'll be able to clearly present human nature. Walt Disney 56 animation entitled Moana tells the story of a spirited teenager who sets out on a daring mission to save her people to prove herself as a master wayfinder and fulfill her ancestors' unfinished quest. During her journey, she meets the once mighty demigod Maui and together, they traverse the open ocean on an action-packed voyage encountering enormous fiery creatures and facing impossible odds. Uh, really? So these are the five characters of Moana which each of them giving off a different kind of human nature. First is Guamatala. Okay, well, then head on back. Moana's grandmother, Grandma Tala, was a lover of the sea. She was known as the keeper of Asian tales with a thorough understanding of her background and culture. She became known as the village mad lady as a result of this. Tala is spirited, eccentric, and independent. She is fiercely devoted to the idea of being true to yourself and listening to your heart. As such, she never adhered to normality for the sake of fitting in, making her somewhat of an outcast, though she holds the reputation of village crazy lady. I'm the village crazy lady. That's my job. With prideful awareness. Nevertheless, her independence makes her a beloved and respected figure to Moana, who takes after her grandmother more so than her parents. The two share an extremely close bond with so much in common and provide support constantly throughout Moana's early life and even following Tala's death. As a grandma, Tala put her wisdom to good use by using her last remaining strength to guide and prepare Moana for her life-changing journey across the sea. Second is Tamatoa. Are you just trying to get me to talk about myself? Because if you are, I will gladly do so. Huh? Tamatawa is a secondary antagonist. He's a nefarious hodge crab who lasts after all things, gleaming and valuable. Tamatawa exhibits his accumulated jewels atop his golden shell in an attempt to exude beauty and superiority. Tamatawa is extremely narcissistic with a superiority complex. He views himself as beautiful and others as irrelevant and disposable, unlike Moana, Tala, and Bawi. Tamatawa does not believe in inner beauty or listening to your heart. Instead, he views anyone who is not physically attractive or outwardly strong as insignificant and lesser than him, albeit perfectly fit for a meal. This is his biggest flaw and ultimately causes his downfall as he un underestimated Moana's intelligence because she's a human, which allowed her to best the villainous crustacean. Third is Chief Tui. Moana, make way, make way. Chief Tui is the fourth character. Chief Tui is the father of Moana and village head of Motunowi. Tui got aquaphobia after losing a loved one to the ocean and prevented his people from venturing beyond Motunowi's reef. Tui's law caused friction with his daughter, who aspired to be a sailor. Tui is a well-liked and kind leader. 
He cherishes his family, island, and people, and is proud of the life they've created for them. Though he loves his family, Tui's stubbornness often clashes with that of Moana, due to the latter's love for the sea. So he pressured her daughter to follow his footsteps and stop having any connection with the sea, cause he knew that it will be a great danger to her daughter family, friends, and his people like what he experienced at his young age. Fourth is Maui. Only the greatest demigod in all the Pacific Islands. With his magical fish hook, he slowed down the sun, pulled islands out of the sea, battled monsters. And I should know, because I'm Maui. Maui is the Deuteragonist. He is Busterius, demigod of South Pacific legend. With the power of his giant magical fish hook, Maui served as the audacious guardian of mankind. Maui is boastful, gregarious, and mischievous, for all his heroic. However, Maui can be also short-tempered, bitter, pretentious, and his inflated ego to give him a superiority complex. This attitude lead him to be quiet, antagonistic, and even murderous. Being overconfident because of he is a demigod, made him a point to make embarrass himself in front of Moana and he was closely to giving up on her. But as the adventure goes by, he realized that without a hook, he was nothing and was extremely reluctant to take on challenges without it becoming somewhat of a coward. Without my hook, I am nothing! True Moana, however, Maui slowly began to realize that the hook is only an accessory during his adventure and his many accomplishments over the years were a result of own bravery. Rather than what the gods created to assist him in such exploits, though still arrogant and gruff, Maui developed into much more selfless and humble figure following his adventure with Moana. And lastly is Moana. I am Moana of Motunui. You will board my boat. Moana is an adventurous, voracious, and compassionate 16-year-old who is struggling to find her true self, while her father chief Dewey pressures her to follow in his footsteps and leave their island one day. Moana is drawn to the sea. The people of her village are forbidden to go beyond the safety of the reef, yet the open ocean seems to be called Moana because the ocean chose her. She is a strong hero who sets out to retrieve what her people lost a long time ago. Moana wants to save the world literally even though she's just about the only person who realizes it needs saving. As she grows with her adventures, Moana is also known as a strong-willed sea-loving, practically fearless, and physically capable teenager. She is a powerful, independent, and brave who fights her own battles. She is a powerful role model for today's audiences. We're going to the realm of monsters? Don't worry, it's a lot farther down than it looks. Ah! Ah!